Good afternoon, Coach. Thank you for speaking to us. Um, Coach, you're taking over a team that has lost three games in a row. What are your immediate expectations of them? See, first of all, uh, what I would like to say is uh, this is something new for the players <laughs> because uh, me being here for four years, I've never seen the team lose so many games. Uh, so it's it's not easy for the players, and even after uh, Carlos. Uh, left and I have been given the charge. It's not been easy but yes uh, the way players are, are reacting to it, the, the way players are uh, positive about doing things and getting back into the winning ways, uh, they are doing doing a wonderful job. So there is not much I want to change. It is just it is just that we want to play more attacking football now and we want to defend well uh, as a compact, uh, compact unit. We are just working on these two things now. So our, our immediate immediate aim will be to play more attacking and attractive football. Coach, you've been uh, watching East Bengal in the last few games. They've been getting better with every game. What are you expecting from them as a team? See, the way East Bengal has been playing the, the last two games, what I watch, uh, they, have been imp they have improved a lot. They are, doing, they are playing more attacking now. Yes, uh, when they are defending, they are defending as a unit and they are more compact. So it becomes very important for my players to keep the ball more, good rotation of passes, and be patient. It's it's very important. It's very important. We don't get desperate. Uh, yes, of course we want to win, but it's very important that we be patient, uh, wait for the right opportunity, not lose many balls, not give away many balls to the opponents, keep the ball position and try to wait for those openings, and whenever the opportunity comes, score. Coach, I understand there is a bit of emotion in the camp with everything that's been going on. Um, have you seen the boys respond on the pitch? Um, what's your first training session been like with them? Do you see positive vibes? See, uh, when I was given this charge uh, after Mumbai Mumbai City's game, I, let me be very honest. <laughs> I, I didn't have... Uh, it was two sleepless nights. Uh, it was not easy for me, uh, for everyone, for even even for the players, because I'm sure they also must be thinking how it's going to happen. So, from my main concern was uh, to get them together. Uh, I was talking to them individually, trying to understand what they feel uh, about me and what they feel about the team and how we can move ahead and get into winning ways. Uh, yes, again. Uh, my first concern was the first training session, how they will react to it. Uh, and after the training session, now I'm more relaxed because uh, I I felt the positivity. I felt they have accepted me. So uh, this is this is something that's something good. And I'm sure uh, once once we play the first game, uh, I get more confidence to work on the system and work work the way we want to play. We want to play more attacking and uh, attractive football. Coach, do you have a message to the supporters? They want to hear from you. Uh, they they play a very important role, uh, and for sure, since uh, we are playing without supporters now, but I am sure uh, their wishes are always with us. Uh, we we I just I just uh, request them, you know, that uh, just keep supporting us and just be the way you are, and I am sure we'll give you positive results.